Malik, uh, starting the tournament can always be rusty, but starting the tournament against the top seed is never an easy task. Yet, you just won against the top seed, Vladimir Akovian. Your initial feelings after this important victory? Yeah, he was happy to uh, face him in the first round. I know Vladimir, like, for, I count, like, for 45 years. <laughs> yeah, we, we grew up in the same city, so we knew each other, like, since being kids. We played many, many games against each other. Yeah, so, yeah, but uh, it was very important for me to play, and I was hoping to get white color, and I got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you uh, prepare for uh, this game? Well, firstly, it was sort of expected for, from Vladimir to play Sicilian. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought he wouldn't play against me like E4, E5, because I thought he's like, you know, higher the player, and he wouldn't play like a, like symmetrical or Lopez or something like that. So it was expected, but uh, I actually mainly prepared against the other lines. Mm -hmm. So for me, a uh, line which uh, Vladimir played, um, I saw the game against, he played against Norderbeck, uh, Abzadurov, Abzadurov, back to 2015. Yeah. So I thought it's only one single game, and it, it's not really principal queen c7, because I thought it was supposed to be bishop b4, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he didn't play bishop b4, and uh, he never played bishop b4, by the way. He only played queen c7. So, okay, I thought uh, the setup which I played is quite known, up to rook e8. It felt like he just wanted to get a longer game and, right. and try to get you maybe in time trouble and then yeah. make a push for something. But I mean, I'm familiar with the system because I, I same system I teach all my students and we talk about this actually in our Olympian experience. So I knew up to like a uh, rook e8 moment. Yeah, it was sort of first surprise when um, he played rook e8. Yeah, because funny, like, um, I thought the, the right move was supposed to be like bishop d8, bishop c7, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So this is like a very common idea, yes. uh, bishop d8, bishop c7, because um, I'm actually not making on time a typical king h1 move. And why is that? Well, I mean, he plays bishop c7. Yes, and let's say you go bishop g1. Right, that's what I thought, bishop g1. And actually, that's what uh, something like this happened with not a big, not a big plate. So he goes d5, or what is the problem? Well, I actually, I was thinking to, I was considered between this line or to play, uh, as I was thinking, like initially, bishop f1, bishop, uh, if you don't play king h1, mm -hmm. second, yes. uh, play uh, bishop f1, bishop and system. then something like this. And then I thought it's not a big deal, I can play. Uh, let's say g3 or so, something sure. like that. Yeah. Okay. And, and it was scenario. I can play g3 and then, you know, it's position. I mean, uh, I kind of play this in some blitz games, uh, something like that. So I thought it's fine. But uh, either this or king h1. But I thought let, let him think and then let's see what he does. He actually spent some time on that e5, right? And he on, played on rook, rook e8. e8. Yeah. Yes. When he played rook e8, he gave me like very valuable time. So now I can play bishop f1, mm -hmm. uh, not e5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also, I, I, didn't, I didn't actually expect this. I thought he's going to play something like bishop f8. But okay. I mean, I wasn't sure, like, what's the point of bishop and f8? G6, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe something bishop like that. g7. Something. Like, you know, it's Sicilian, like, it's camp positions. Typical plans, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he played that e5, that a4 here. Yeah, by the way, I missed something. Yeah, right here, I missed something, right? This is the critical moment. Go back for a second. Yes. Yeah, I knew there's something wrong with this. And I knew I supposed, I mean, I supposed to take knight b6. Queen takes b6, and not, not f5. knight f5, okay. Yeah, knight f5, queen, whatever goes, Let's I don't care. Queen b7, yeah. Take on e7, take on d6. Mm -hmm. But I simply check it out. Okay. Be because same sacrifice we have uh, in Sicilian, in Eidor, uh, whenever you sack on b5, and it was kind of similar thing when you sack for th three pawns. Three pawns. Now yeah. it's only two. You yeah, yeah, might no, be getting exactly. the third one. Yes. Yeah. I was trying to compare, remember the famous game when uh, Wei Yi was really young and he played against Shirov, I think, and won the World Cups. You're, when he you're testing my memory <laughs> live, uh, on yeah. live TV. Yes, sir, so, do you remember that? Oh, thing? absolutely. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's common sacrifice, but uh, honestly, I saw this, but actually, you know, I mean, I got, I thought maybe I'm going to miss something and this and that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to blame myself for this. <laughs> And then I played that b3, but oh, that is still good enough. But I misjudged the position. I thought this is supposed to be good for me. Yes. Not f5. He, initially, I was thinking bishop g3. And mm -hmm. that's why I went for this uh, exchange, uh, uh, accepted exchange sacrifice. I thought bishop g3, and I'm clearly better. But then I realized after de, it's not so better, you know? And then, yeah, I mean, the e, queen g5. Right, king h8. But apparently, uh, computer says here, not e3. Which is, yeah, I a very difficult move to see. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very, very difficult. Yeah, I didn't see it. 
because my, I mean, I, I spent some time by uh, trying to evaluate Queen B2 move, not Queen G5. Yeah. Uh, but then I realized on Queen B2 he has a Bishop C5 check, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. It's like Beautiful. annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And you played uh, Bishop to G5. This was a moment where he had an option, but I really like this move, Queen to H3. I saw it instantly. Yes. Yeah. Put a lot of pressure on him, on his well, next decision. Well, it's a tactical position, uh, Christian. I had to do something. Because I can't yeah. handle this positionally because yeah. uh, one, one move late, uh, he's going to be two bishops, he's going to kill me. Yeah, yeah. So I got to do something. I, actually, I believe A5 is a big mistake. We agreed. We, we spoke briefly with uh, Vladimir. Um, it was expected, which I thought, G6 move. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking to make a check, uh, not H6, uh, capture, capture, bishop E4. And I said, to him, whatever, you know what, let's see, let's play this position, like whatever it is, queen three back. And uh, I mean, I think it's roughly equal, maybe. Sure. Yeah. Dynamic. Dynamically equal, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he definitely had compensation. Uh, but I mean, uh, when he played A5, I was very happy. Uh, I said, OK, I saw queen h3. Because I saw this even before A5. I thought I was hoping if he play A5. Because I saw queen h3 move. Because funny, but the rook is trapped. There is, there is, no, there is no good square for the rook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everything he has is to keep contact. With exactly. The yeah. Yeah. There's with always the issue. Bishop be rook, I mean, bishop be seven rook d seven. I thought, uh, but no matter what, any any move was better than queen six. Yes. I think as soon as just losing. Yes. And you spotted it directly. Yeah. The exchange of the queens definitely helps you. After rook to d eight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is what the that that win. Yeah. Maybe most precise was not to capture on faith. It was like rook d seven initially. But it's, I said to okay, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't anyway. matter as long as it gets the result. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That you wanted. Congratulations. Right. Great game. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. To start the game. Uh, to start the tournament with, guys. Back to you.